Everybody knows what it's like to be in pain, yet everybody experiences pain differently. How much pain we feel or how we feel the pain depends on how we think, what we believe in, what's happened in our past and who we are as people. These differences in personality lead to differences in the brain. If you consider the brain to be like a map, made up of a number of different cities or brain regions, all connected by a network of highways. I use a machine called an MRI scanner to take pictures of people's brains and compare differences in these maps between people who deal very well with pain as opposed to those who struggle to cope with pain. We hope that this research will one day allow us to be able to identify people at risk of developing chronic pain before they actually develop it. At this point, we hope we could give them strategies to be able to have a better life living with pain or alternatively to be able to actually reduce the risk of them developing chronic pain in the first place.